Obesity is a big problem here, and out of that, uh, one of the biggest problems here is, is the NCDs, non-communicable diseases, and it seems Pacific is leading in that area. The one of the main issues that the president focusing on is the issue of uh, double burden of malnutrition. We have a standing, we also have an overweight. The problem with overnutrition is that Tonga is number one in the world of being the most obese country. There's 98% of people in Tonga that are at moderate to high risk of getting an NCD. I think the national average for life expectancy for our people is around about 66 years old. And there are two things, obviously, that contribute. Food we eat and physical activity is less, so we can't really burn the food that we eat. I think over the years with um, development, its evolution, we've had uh, access to a lot of vehicles now. Even just walking 500 metres down the road, young people get in the car. Uh, I coach a local village team here. They live practically 300 metres away from where we train and they get into a car to drive there for training. Now that's a, a huge shift in mindset from 30 years ago when I was a kid. We change our lifestyle, more importation of uh, food with a high sugar content, at the same time with meat that we know that has a high content of fat. The increase in, in lamb flap importation over the years, corned beef, all these processed food noodles we bring in and consume over 18 million noodle packs per annum. I don't think uh, that uh, people would deny that the fish and uh, locally uh, produced food is better than what we have. It's just a, a lifestyle change and complete attitude. Diets have changed over the years, but also things like they're able to afford more uh, feasts and the way that they share their cultural experiences has changed over the years as well. Growing up as kids here, we ate local food produce every day, um, fresh fruit and veggies. 30 years down the line, things have changed. You've got to adapt to the conditions and unfortunately the majority of our people here lack the knowledge and the science behind agriculture to be able to grow a good crop, whether it's for food security or for commercial markets overseas. With the rise of NCDs, there's of course going to be problems with disability, people getting amputations, visual loss and things like that. So there, there's multiple problems that the country is facing. If they are affected, that it will affect the socio-economic uh, status of the family and, of course, if of the country. We have a lot of issues faced by this country. Right now we have a 50.2% standing rate. Here we have a belief that certain food will not be eaten by pregnant women or the young babies will not be fed with certain food. Families don't have enough economy income so they, they don't reach good quality of food. There's accessibility so food are not available. You have to travel distance and if you don't have money or transportation you won't be able to acquire enough right type of food. People don't have a, enough knowledge of what are the right composition of food that is good for your nutrition. Lastly, it's way of life, the environment, the, you know, hygiene. The, there are a lot of villages that don't have access to water. Schools don't have access to water. And, and so sanitation is an issue. People with malnutrition will have less productivity. Also brain development is slow, so sometimes not enough. So you don't have enough knowledge and if with low skill you will have low payment. So nationally it will impact uh, the economy of this country uh, and what happens is the country will rely on the oil. And once the oil dries out, when you want to come back and rely on your own people, people are not ready because of the malnutrition. If we're going to change this, we need to go back to basics and, and look at the family, the nuclear family the parents, where it all starts from, what they give their children is what you feed them is what you'll be in the future. So I think if we get a clear message to them so that they understand the basic nutritional value of food that they consume daily. I think Tonga cannot do it alone. Our program is a multiple sectorial. Ministry of Health, Education, Agriculture, 
fisheries, NGOs and other countries. We must put our act together. Because without an integrated and coordinated approach, there's no way we'll have enough funds and resources to make the necessary changes. We believe we are going to win, but we cannot win the fight alone. The community has to be part of this. Yeah. People have to realize that, yes, malnutrition is a big problem. Yes, they have a role to play in effort to fight malnutrition. You get that, that's empowerment. Understanding their needs and then making the change to help them, that's change for life. Se Timor pode fazer isto, pode contribuir também para a região uh, e também para o mundo, porque fala deste problema não só em Timor-Leste que enfrenta este problema de má nutrição. Se nos acompanha no uh, mundo, este problema também acontece. Então nós gostaríamos de este problema, nós podemos procurar uma solução para Timor-Leste e também pode contribuir para a nossa região e o mundo.